Jared, what do you got? Yo, check this out. This is Jay Z Hard Not Life on tape. Wait, hold, sorry, dude. So is that Mort's garage over there? Mort? Yo, what's up, Mort? Oh, oh, I'm sorry, dude. My bad. I wonder what it would be like to hunt with Mort. That Mort is such a swell guy. I really can't wait to hunt with him. Oh, wait. A dream sequence? What is happening? Okay, this is what YouTube looks like. This is what the behind the yeah. scenes of YouTube looks like. You know you're in a conference with people who do YouTube when every five seconds. What is this? Is this a cat? Hey! Hey, it's a meow meow! Meow meow! <laughs> So we're following Mort right now watching the behind the scenes footage of Mort's Garage. Okay, so we're we're being followed by Eric from Retro Gaming Pandemic because we're watching behind the scenes of Retro Gaming Pandemic. So, Mort, tell us, how do you frame seeing. your shots? What's your thought process that goes into that? Uh, rule of thirds and cool angles. Sounds like, sounds like school. <laughs> you know Jared is here because you'll hear him. <laughs> Not walking, but you'll hear his voice. Though then again, I've been told that both of us are loud and both of us sound identical. I hear Furman because there is politeness. Furman, is it funny that I heard someone be say something like polite and I was like, Furman's here. Here I am. Oh God. You say for my son, but do it like how you uh, do the end of the Pixel Game Squad videos. I'm gonna do it in my retro off impression. Okay. For my son. <laughs> Is that how we're ending every video now? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's our like upper channel. He's the Pokemon guru. I know I'm the guy yeah. wearing all the Pokemon swag, but yeah. He's the one. So. What's your thing? What do you like to yeah, the most? Yeah. Like to come on from with like <laughs> yeah. bro. Oh my God. <laughs> the yeah, pressure. <laughs> yeah. Who's your starter, bro? Uh, start. The cards I don't collect too much. Okay. And there's a back story to that uh -huh. so of course I played back in the day like when they first came out mm -hmm. and did you ever go to like the Pokemon leagues at Toys R Us Gosh, I, I remember hearing about them and dreaming as a kid but I I did, I did I'm, I'm every sure Saturday and I, I lost oh, every oh, weekend gosh. nerd you know actually but, fun fact a kid hustled me out of my first edition holographic Charizard at Toys R Us and my dad found out about it and found the kid and was like, you give him his card back. He gave me a non-hollow Blastoise for it. And I thought it was good. Mort is what we call pondering. It's wild to look at all this stuff from, and just going, I remember playing with that one. I remember playing with you know, this one and then just seeing the price tags next to them. But then also that's every video game ever too, right? Like I used to play this video game and that video game and I can't believe it's that much money, but everything from our childhood is gold right now. And mom, why did you throw away our cardboard boxes? Yeah. <laughs> I was gonna say, to I remember the game that Jared and I used to play as kids was, Daddy, don't hurt me. Oh wow, that got dark. <laughs> that got Way dark. Way to go there. <laughs> no guys, seriously, love my dad. He's the best dad ever. You're number two though. Thank you. Yeah, number yeah. two. You're a great dad. Yeah. Well, I have a diabetic cat named Oscar. That was a random fact. Yeah, I love to say it. What, <laughs> what does it have to do with being a dad? Because <laughs> I'm a cat, proud cat dad. Oh, no, cat dad. Okay. Yeah, yeah, come on. You can't do that. I way misread that. Dude, I inject him. Or how do you feel about Jared hijacking fatherhood? from just being a cat owner. I'll, like, I'll, I'll, I'll allow it because the responsibility for another life is an important responsibility and the bond that you create with that is really important. So what do you think of the store? It's okay. Yeah? Just okay? Yeah, it's just okay. What's one thing you would do to make it great? Um, I would, oh man, that's a, that's a tough question. To make it great, uh, I would put a statue out front of Rick going like, Jared, you do it. You do the voice. For my son. For my son. Yeah, he's the one who has to edit it in every single video. I dream of it. Yeah. <laughs> Take me through this store. Okay. And I want you to show me one thing that stands out to you and tell us why. Oh. Okay, so we're gonna, we're gonna Interesting. The 
right, I'm going with Casper on this because when we were kids, Stinky was my favorite. Yeah. And I think Jared was always into, I think you were Stretch, right? You were always into Stretch, if I remember. You called yourself the Stretch God in our last video, Jared. This well, is you. Because I stretch this is vintage you. children's shirts into adult sizes. <laughs> so, yeah. That that's sounded correct. very creepy, by the way. Yeah, this is one. So, I, I always was a stinky fan with the, you know, growing up with Casper. So, that's something. Something's Plus, catching I, my eye, though. I'm going to steal the camera and the shine See, a this is what Brotherhood's about. Yeah, he just well, comes in and... I but you get it, we're twins. I have a crooked toe because of this yeah. man. Have I showed you that? Let's go, let's go. <laughs> but look at this, man. Tails from the Crypt Keeper on cardboard. This is crazy. No, that's before your time, though. Yeah, I'm not interesting. <laughs> the other one, um, Jared and I used to play with these a lot when we were growing up. So we used to, like, comb their hair and, like, paint their nails and stuff. Um, Jared, though, um, was more into this uh, than me. I was just there for moral support. Uh, Furman, though, this is kind of cool. It's a Walmart 30th anniversary edition Barbie. Furman is a Walmart collector, so Furman, this would be a great item for you to leave with today. 20 bucks for Walmart you want swag. You can get it something for 20 bucks, you'll buy it. So one of my favorite things in this store has to be this Monster High share or scare game. So I've been collecting it really into Monster High for about 35 years. Yes. And I think what's really cool about Monster High is that it kind of reminds me of like the OC mixed with Saved by the Bell, but then there's monsters and, you know, Rebecca's always getting into trouble, but you never know why until you realize she's a vampire. She's a vampire. And she's cheating on Hank, who's also she's cheating on Hank. a Frankenstein guy the with Frankenstein. a mummy. If you, Jared's well versed if you, in the lore. Yeah, the lore of Monster High. If you've never checked out Monster High, don't. How do you feel about that? Because you collect Monster High, right? I feel dead inside. All right, guys, I'm grabbing this for Mort. This is Mort's favorite director, right? I'm not a Quentin Tarantino fan. I, I appreciate that him. That was the point. I know. I, I predicted that. So I, I Kill Bill 1 and 2. I liked 2, okay, but one, 1 just didn't do it for me. But I don't know. I don't like, I appreciate his style and what he does, but um, I've actually never seen Reservoir Dogs before. So if you had notes for Quentin Tarantino, what would uh, those notes be? I'd give him no notes. He no should notes? Be, I, he should be himself and make the movies he makes for the audience that uh, loves it. It's just I might not be his audience all the time. Wow. Just no the same notes. with, like, like I wouldn't give notes to a lot of, like, Quentin Tarantino's, like, an auteur, right? Like, he, when you see a Quentin Tarantino movie, you're seeing a Quentin Tarantino movie, whereas when you see, you know, other, like, a Mission Impossible movie, you're not watching the director's film, you're watching basically a Tom Cruise movie, but... Uh, for that reason, I would say you keep doing you and uh, keep making the best art you can. And I just may not be there to watch it all the time. Eli Roth, what do you think? I'm Tim Roth, not oh, Eli yeah, Roth. Eli. Wow. <laughs> Everybody knows how much I love Carmen Electra, and it's an autographed. Baywatch Does photo. That? I'm pretty sure that's the first time I've heard you it say is. that. It is. Somebody Carmen asked Electra. me that in a question. Russ Lyman asked me that in a 90s Babes crush question. And, and I, my first response was Carmen Electra. So um, I'm going to get Hannah's credit card and we are going to buy this. Establish the scene. What are we doing here? So I'm uh, trying to avoid a beating from Jared uh, because I need to be on my best behavior apparently. So I, I would like you to be in the video more. I know he's always kind of behind the scenes I'm always have to have to lead the comical humor with it's a heavy burden to it play. is it's because the audience likes to see a dirty marble bag this I is swap meat fresh right now it is. look at that it's got like tire grease stains on it all right guys during this convention what are you looking for what is something you want to walk home with here at uh, siege friendship oh Play Found. All and right. Nintendo switch game what up fam <laughs> Who's your favorite comedian? Oh man, Norm Macdonald, rest in peace. Okay. I miss you, Norm. Um, man, that's a tough one. Probably. Eric doesn't like the laugh, so no, probably not. <laughs> probably Bo Burnham. Oh, go good choice, him. good choice. All right, who's your favorite comedian? Oh, well, he never got no respect, but I have to say Rodney Dangerfield. Oh, wow. Okay. What about you? 
I'm gonna say John Mulaney right now. Okay. John Mulaney's oh, fine yeah. too. Yeah. All right. You kind of have that John Mulaney fashion look though to you. Do the I? hair and everything now. <laughs> I don't know. All right. Cool. I can see it. I can see a little John Mulaney.